Hello everyone, welcome to VTUE Sikshana. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar, working as an assistant professor, Department of Computer Science, VVC, Mysore. So in this video, I'm going to explain the program number eight, which is present in your VTU Mobile Application Lab Development Laboratory syllabus, which deals with the call application. So it's a simple application. So you have to spend your much of your time in the design itself. Why? Because there is no complex logic present in this particular application. Just the thing is the context of this particular application is to provide the calling and the number saving option to the user. The application must provide the features such as the user can call any particular number and user can save the particular mobile number. Okay, so firstly I will start with the design, just observe the design itself will take much of your time, why because the, there is no complex logic that you have to mention in the code part. I am not going to use the title, why I am not going to use the title because, so I need to mention the numbers from 0 to 9 along with the two options that such as call and save and clear. Okay, firstly I am going to place a plain text. I am going to place a plain text, so where user can enter the number, where user can enter the number, okay. So once the user can enter the number, along with that I am going to provide three buttons, one, two, three. So the first button, if they want to clear the number what they have entered, they can use this button. If they want to call they can use this button. If you want to save the number, then you can use this button. Along with that, I need another 9 buttons, one, 10 buttons to indicate the values from 0 to 9. So, to add these buttons, to name the IDs, that itself will take half an hour. So, there is no complex logic that is present in the Java part that you are going to place. Just designing this itself will uh, take you much of your time. So, just observe to the suitable uh, layout for this one is, why because we have around uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, around 13 buttons we need to add. So, if you want to add 13 buttons means it is better to go with the relative layout. Okay, the, the layout that we are going to prefer for this particular application is relative layout and I need one edit text where I am going to enter the edit text or plain text, both are same, don't get confused, edit text to enter the number and I need around 13 buttons. I need to add 13 buttons and I need to rename them. I need to rename them and I need to recognize what the user has entered. Why? Because I need to use these buttons only to enter the number. So we cannot use the way that we have used the Android keyboard in the simple calculator application. Okay. Just the thing is the user is going to enter the button number. If you want, you can clear that number. If you want, you can call to that particular number. If you want, you can save that particular number. Okay, that is the context of this application. So, this will take much of your time in the design itself. There is no complex logic present. Let us start the development of this particular application. I will show you how to develop the simple call application. So, I will create a new project. I will select the empty activity. So, I will give the application name as call application and the language is Java and finish. So the context of this particular application is we are going to use three buttons. One is clear, other one is call, other one is save. So when I'm, whenever I am going to press that clear button, whatever the number that I have entered in the phone number dialog, that should be cleared. So if I press save button after entering the number, that particular number should be saved. If I press call button, it should take me to the dialog box, call dialog, so where I can call to that particular number. This is the requirement, this is the functionality requirement that you need to use with respect to the application that we are going to develop right now. 
the application is very simple with respect to the uh, functionality that you are going to implement here is very simple just the thing is you have to add more number of components in your design okay so let's start the design so my now my application is ready to develop so let's start the design so as i mentioned in the design part so you need to mention the numbers from 0 to 9 so by using the buttons as well as you need additional three buttons one is to clear the number other one is to save the number other one is to call to that particular number so and i need one uh, edit text that is not, nothing but a phone number edit text so totally i need around 15 components that's why it's better to go with the relative layout so initially the once you create an application it will be present in the constraint layout now i am going to change this constraint layout to relative so i will make i am making the constraint layout to relative okay so I'll go to design. So already there is a text view that's already present. I will make use of the same text view. Uh, there is no mandate that uh, you have to make use of text view here. So I'm using this text view just to display the application name. Just to display the application name. So select this and search for the attribute text. And I will change the application name as call application. And I will increase the font size. Okay, so I have inserted the application name now. So now I need one edit text or plain in uh, design part we will refer it as plain text, but I am not going to use the direct normal plain text that is available here. Instead of that, I have another one option here in design that is phone. Phone that I'm going to add in my design. That's nothing but you're going to read the phone number from the user that I'm going to use it in my design. I'm going to add that phone uh, edit text. And I'm going to place it wherever it is required. Okay. So I have added the phone plain text here. Uh, but I have not added the int. That's why I'm going to visit to the code part. Code part. So this is the text that I have inserted. For edit text which I have inserted right now. So for this I'm going to add an int here. Int. So enter phone number. I'm going to provide the int. So please note down the id. Please note down the ID. The ID of the edit text that we are using here is edit text phone. Okay. That's it. So next. So I have added the int now. So now I need to add totally 10 buttons to represent the numbers from 0 to 9. Along with the 3 buttons. One is to clear. Other one is to save. Other one is to call. So those buttons I am going to add right now. Firstly I will add the clear button. Just I'm going to add a button here and I'm going to set the cursors. So with respect to this application concerned, so it will take huge time to design. So with respect to the functionality part, so it will not uh, take much of your time. So select this button and change the text. So I will give this text as clear. Whenever the user clicks on this button whatever the number that you have entered in this phone edit text should be cleared should be made null okay so next i will add the buttons one by one to represent the numbers from zero to nine firstly i will add the button number one and i'm going to drag and drop it and paste it to the required position and i'm going to change the text present here i'm going to change the text to one Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I need around uh, 12 buttons. So instead of uh, drag and dropping the buttons one by one, so I will select this button. I will use the keys control C and once again control V, it will create a duplicate of the C. So you can use it. So it will be present on the same button itself. Just drag wherever it is required. And I'm going to change the text. The text we have right now here is one. I will make it 2. Select this and make the text as 2. Repeat the same procedure for totally 0 to 9. 
control V, it will create another one duplicate button. Place it here and make the text as 3. Control V, it will create another one button. The text, I will rename it as 4. Just observe, this is how it's going to do. Control V and I will rename it as 5. Control V I will rename it as 6. So you have to repeat the same process for all the buttons. I will make it as 7. I will place zero here. Zero. Just control C and control V, it will create a replica of the same button which you have created previously. Select that button, press control C and press control V. It will create a duplicate of same button. Just rename the text. Control V. So I will rename this particular button as call. Control V. I will rename this particular button as save. So my design is ready. Just observe the title of the application, call application. So this edit text represents so where the user is going to enter the phone number. So once the user clicks on this clear, whatever the phone number that you have entered will be cleared. Once the user clicks on this call button, so whatever the number that you have entered should take you to the dialog box with call dialog with this particular number. If you enter this save, whatever the number that you have entered here, if you click on this button save, so that particular number should be saved and the user will be asked to enter the name. So this is the design requirement, my design is ready. So now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you have to note down the idea of this edit text. The idea of the edit text is edit text phone. So next you have to note down the idea of clear button, call button and save button. Why? Because we are working with, we will work with only these three buttons. We are not, we are least worried about the other numerical buttons that is available in your design such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. We are not going to work with those buttons in your Java part. We are going to work with clear, call and save. Just note down the IDs of those three buttons. If possible, rename those IDs. So please observe. So just till now I have uh, note down the ID of edit text that is edit text phone and uh, I have given the int enter the phone number. So next I will start with the so what's the button that I am doing what's the role of this button to clear. So I will rename this ID that is btn underscore clear. From here onwards the ID of the clear button is btn underscore clear. So next search for call button why because this button is 6 don't worry about the numerical buttons just search for the call uh, so please observe here we have the button 3 so it's not required button 4 it is not required button 5 it is not required button 1 it is not required button 7 it is not required 8 9 0 so call so i will rename the id of this call button that is btn underscore call okay from here onwards the call button will be recognized by the id btn underscore call similarly we have next button that is button save from here onwards the save button will be recognized by the id btn underscore save that's it so the tech id that we have given for the save button is btn underscore save the id that we have given for the call button is btn underscore call the id that we have given for the clear button is btn underscore clear 
along with that what's the id that we have used for the phone edit text that is edit text phone these are the prerequisites you have to note down before you start with the uh, java part so is it clear so just observe whatever i have written on the board in the form of design same thing i have designed here so let's proceed with the java part it's simple just the thing is uh, you have you have to add the actions for this clear button call button and save button that completes this particular application development so i will go to the java part so in java part firstly i am going to declare the variables which are required for my program that is i am using the edit text right in which i am going to enter the phone number i am going to from here onwards i am going to use the reference to refer that edit text that is edit text in the lower case letter so next after that i am going to write the logic for three buttons that is clear btn clear button other one is call btn and save btn i am making use of camel case naming convention so these are the four components which i am going to use in my uh, java part that's why i am declaring these components uh, reference as a global references from here onwards if i refer edit text means that refers to edit text if i refer clear btn means the button which is responsible for clearing the number that you have entered call btn means the button which is responsible for calling option save btn means the button which is responsible for saving the phone number that you have entered in the edit text okay so now i need to identify so the identification will happen after immediately after the set content view firstly i will identify the edit text so as i mentioned earlier you have to note down the id the id that i have used in my designers edit text phone edit text phone that i am referring here so i am done with the identification of edit text so next i need to identify three buttons which i have used one is clear button call button other one is save button these are the three buttons i need to recognize clear button is equal to find view by id r dot id as i mentioned earlier you have to note down the id clear button means btn clear that's the id that i have given i have customized the id so if you have retained the same id means such as button number 11 button number 12 so you have to give the same id here so if required you can customize as i did so next i will use the call button is equal to find view by id or dot id dot the id that we have given us button call save btn is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn underscore save that's the id that we have given so we are done with the declaring the global variables which are required for the components then we are done with the identification of those components which are there in my design okay so now i will add the action listeners for clear button call button and save button that completes my program okay so firstly i will start with the action listener the method that i am going to the way of method invocation that i am using here is direct way just i am adding the action listener inside the on click method i am going to place the logic so firstly i will call the action listener for clear button clear button dot set on click listener that is nothing but new on click listener so inside the on click i am going to place the logic it's a one line logic to clear the uh edit text or the phone edit text that we have used in our design that is the reference that we are going to use to refer the edit text is edit text dot set text i will use null i will make it null that's it that's just a one line logic so whenever the user clicks on this clear button the edit text text will be set to null clear so now check where this action listener is getting closed so it is getting getting closed here so after that add the action listener for call button call button dot set on click listener the how you have done the adding the action listener in the similar way you will add the action listener for this experiment this application development also new we want click listener 
so it will generate a on click method where you are going to place the logic firstly what is this calling button should do so it should read the text or the number that you have entered in that phone edit text and it should make use of here the intent that here we are making use of intents so which kind of intents we are going to use here here we will make use of implicit intents the implicit intents means i have already explained in my previous video in explicit intents you are going to mention the class to which the transition should happen in implicit intents you are going to mention the action just that's the only one difference after that intent declaration start activity is same what you have done in the explicit intent there is no change in the syntax just the thing is you are going to mention the action in place of uh activity name so first i will read the number that user has entered why because so that's the main thing that we need to do here string number is equal to so what user has entered in edit text edit text get the text get the text and convert it to string what is number it's nothing but a string what the user has entered in the edit text get the text and convert it into string so from here onwards we will refer it as number so now i will declare the implicit intents so how you have done in the experiment number 3 intent reference is equal to new intent so here so we used to refer the activity name in explicit intents but here we will we used to refer the with respect to implicit intents we will refer the action that is intent dot action dial the action that should happen when the user clicks on this button is it should dial that particular number in the phone dialog okay so next i will call the set data why because i need to use the protocol that is telephone protocol along with this number to make a call intent dot set data uri why because i i need the package android network uri dot parse what the user has entered by adding the protocol tell along with the user entered number simple just observe simple what's the data that we are going to pass with respect to this intent so parse what the user has entered in the edit text attach tell with that particular number what user has entered okay so as i mentioned in the previous videos once you make use of this intents means mandatorily you have you must have start activity start activity along with the reference so this completes the calling functionality just it's a simple functionality you are going to add the action listener for call button then you are going to read the edit text and you are going to convert it into string and you are going to store it in the refer it from here onwards by using the variable name number next i am going to declare the intent which kind of intent i am declaring here implicit intent next so that intent will make use of the data that you have entered along with the telephone protocol will be concatenated with the that number will be concatenated next so once whenever you use the intent it should be started okay so then search where it's getting closed it's getting closed here so after that we are left out with only one button that button name is save button so i will write the action listener for the save button in this line save button dot set the on click listener it's nothing but new on click listener it will automatically generate the on click method inside this method i'm going to write the logic for saving the content okay so once again i'm going to use the same logic firstly i'm going to read the firstly i'm going to read what a user has entered in the edit text i'm going to refer it as number 
delete text dot get text and convert it to string so that will be referred as number what the user has entered in the phone edit text get the text and convert it to string from here onwards we are going to refer it as number it's a string okay so once again i need to call the implicit intents here why because the user with respect to whenever you click on the save button uh, that particular number should be saved so for that i am going to use the uh, co contacts content provider why because uh, that number should be saved in the contacts right so i will make use of intents intent is equal to new new intent okay so next i need to mention the action that is intent dot so just observe we have we have lot of actions available here the action that we are going to use for the save button is action insert means the new contact that you have entered right now should be inserted to the content provider that is contacts action insert and it should be inserted inside the contacts contacts it should be inserted inside the contacts it's nothing please observe your android content provider is this one contacts dot content url don't worry about that uh, line it's a duplicate it's indicates that it's a duplicate duplicated one okay so just previously in save but in call button just we will mention that it should dial that particular number but here along with that action it should Uh, you have to mention where it should be inserted. It should be inserted inside the contacts using that particular URI that you are going to mention in the next line. Okay. Intent dot with the method that we are going to use for inserting that number is put extra put extra. So we will call contacts contract. dot intents dot insert dot what we are going to insert phone so and that is present in number that's it so along with this intents you have to put extra that is the thing but the contacts intents you have to insert that particular phone which is referred as number which we have read it from the edit text by converting it into string so once after writing these two lines of code to activate the implicit intents in next line as i mentioned earlier so whenever you use this intents it should be started start activity and you have to pass the reference okay so this completes the logic for the save button that's it just we are going to read what the user has entered in the edit text and we convert it into string so and we will refer it as number next we will initialize the intents that is implicit intents and we are going to refer the action as insert and we are going to represent where it should be inserted that's nothing but contacts then we are going to use the contacts contract and we are going to insert the phone number which we have read it from the edit text then we need to add the we need to start the activity so then search where it's going to get closed that action list now it's closing here so after writing the functionality for the three buttons which we have used in our design so now we need to write uh, two lines of code to read the number the user has entered whether he has entered 1 whether he has plus 2 so we need to read it right that's why i'm going to write a public method which is applicable for all the buttons so instead of writing the logic for every individual button we will write a public method here and we will place this method name inside all the buttons apart from clear save and call don't place this method inside so please note down my point those please don't place this method inside the 
call save and clear button the method that i'm going to write now it is input number it should be placed inside the buttons starting from 0 to 9 don't place this method inside the clear save and call button so i will write it two lines of code that's it so what which button user has pressed to recognize it that's it public void input button or input number you can use any method any num name input number and you have to provide the view whenever if you are writing a public method means you have to provide the view so please observe now so firstly so here i am writing this num method to recognize which button has pressed by the user so I am explicitly writing this method for button is equal to and view it provide the view so from this you will come to know which button the you what's which on which button the user has entered the action means it's nothing but the user has pressed which button so next I will call a string I will name it as digit so btn dot get the text that particular button is having and convert it into string if the button text is zero get the text if the user clicks on button zero get the text the text is zero and convert it to string and store it as digit okay so next string phone number i will declare a wave reference a variable string phone number so that's nothing but headed text and get the text and convert it to string what's the user has entered till now apart from the digit i will refer it as phone number okay next i will set the edit text edit text what the user has entered phone number i will concatenate that with the digit that's it just a simple logic just firstly i'm declaring the widget that i'm using to get the action that is nothing but button it will be provided view so next what's the text that is associated with that button either 0 1 2 3 4 5 i will uh, get the text and convert it into string and I will refer it as digit okay so next I will get the uh, number that is present in the edit text so and I will refer it as phone number for that phone number I will concatenate the newly entered digit and I will set it as text so the method name is input number just remember you have to add this method by using the on click attribute in all the buttons apart from clear save and call just go to the design code part of design start from fast so what's the role of this button the role of this button is save don't add that particular method so next we have another button what's the role of this button call don't add that on click what's the role of this button so this this particular button is uh, giving the text zero then add that method that is on click input number next what's the role of this button 9 means it is used for the as a keyboard keypad then use on click add that method next what's the role of this button it is 8 then we are using it for entering the number then use on click attribute add the method input number the role of this button 7 it will be used for number so then add on click input number what's the role of this particular button we are using it for keypad then on click add that method so apart from save clear and call for all other remaining buttons you must add this method by using on click that is input number apart from 
save please note on this apart from save clio and call for all other remaining buttons you have to place this method by using on click attribute that's what i am doing right now So you can place it in any line that doesn't mean that you have to place in third line itself you have to place it in second line not like that you have you can place it in wherever it is required okay just to check whether this particular button is clicked by the user or not we are making use of the method input number if the user clicks on this button this input number will be triggered where we are going to pass the text which is present in this particular button and we are going to embed this text with the previously entered phone number that's the role of this particular input number method okay so my application is ready to execute this is simple application so just i will run through the logic once again please observe firstly i have declared four variables one is to represent the edit text another three is to represent the save call and clear button so next i have identified those buttons and edit text in my logic Next, I have added the action listener for clear button, where I am setting the text of the edit text to null. Next, I am adding the action listener for call button. I am going to read the number and I am going to make use of implicit intents, where I am going to provide the action as dial and I am going to start the activity. So next, I am going to add the action listener for save button. so where i am going to read what's the number that you have entered in the edit text and i am going to make use of implicit intents the action that i am going to perform here is save means i am going to perform insert so then i am going to insert that in the form of extra and i am going to start the activity so finally for uh, we need to parse which button the user has clicked that's why i am writing the method by name input control where i am going to uh, get the digit from that button and then i am going to parse the edit text to get the phone number for that phone number i am going to add the digit so i need to place this method inside all the buttons apart from save call and clear button okay by using on click so now i will execute this particular application you can see the output i will demonstrate the three functionalities which i have described right now so the this coming to this particular application it will take time to design so design is bit a little bit complex uh, but but the logic is very simple in every individual action listener you are going to mention only two lines of code one line is to read the uh, value or the read the phone number that is present in the edit text another one line of code is to call the intents the intents that we are going to use here is implicit intents where you are going to mention the action if you make use of explicit intents means you are going to represent you are going to mention the uh, as a parameter you are going to pass the activity name in implicit you are going to mention the action so my output is ready the device is getting on so once my, the device is ready uh, you can see the output i will demonstrate the three functionalities so your application must have three functionalities such as clear so whenever the user clicks on clear button whatever the number that you have typed should be cleared call whenever the user clicks on call button it should take to take you to the call dialog whenever the user clicks on save button whatever the number user has entered in the edit text should be saved and it should ask you to enter the name so my device is ready so you can see the output my application is getting installed so this is your lab program number 8 the simple program just the thing is you might take uh, much time in design so even if you make use of control c and control v you can design it in 10 minutes so hardly you need to spend around 15 minutes to write the logic that is uh, three functionalities to clear to call and to save so my application is ready to show the output just up so before i so you see the output just make sure that make sure that you have placed this particular package in your program okay content android content provider and the 
contacts contract and you are making use of all the methods which comes under that particular package well, because if you may if even if in case in some cases it may be absent that makes that makes the save particular content set URI as deprecated if in case if you are getting this as a deprecated one just make sure that you have that particular package you have that particular package in your Java part okay so let's see the output so firstly I will enter my number eight zero five zero four six triple two five so if I click on this clear so the, this number should be erased yes so once again eight zero five zero four six triple two five if I click on this call button it should take me to the call dialog yes so the last functionality that is save so if I click on the save so it should save it should uh, give me the save option so where I should enter the username yes I will give my name Nathan VVC and I will click on save so Nathan VVC this completes the program number 8 this is the last program that is present in your syllabus thank you